as good as the supervillains that the heroes are battling against. Orm and Black Mantic delivered on all fronts. If you look at Jason strictly as a visual cutout, <laughs> you know, he looks like a biker, he looks like a tough guy that you wouldn't want to pick a fight with in a bar. You got enough footage. Knowing Jason is the big dude, you know, and I'm barely six feet, so you gotta do a lot of work, otherwise you just look like a skinny guy in a muscle suit. <laughs> I wanted to gain weight, man. I wanted to get kind of big, but because of the way that the suit's going to be built, if I get too big, then I'll be bulky and things like that. But I'll probably still sneak on about a good eight pounds or something like that between now and May. They won't notice, or they will, but they'll deal with it. When we made Patrick the offer for King Orbit, obviously he knew that Jason was playing Arthur Curry. He said, I am going to start working out this exact instant. We've been busting our ass so much to try to give him a formidable opponent. You can't just see Aquaman kick everybody's ass. You want, like, just a shred of, can he do this? Maybe he can't. The goal for this was weight gain, getting bigger, stronger. I did it before the wrong way, which was fun. Can't really do that here. I've always known Patrick to be a very physical guy, and I knew that this role would give him the opportunity to really showcase how strong he can be. When he showed up down here, he was a monster, and he really had transformed himself into a guy that when he stands next to Jason, you're not sure who's going to win that fight. <laughs> Wilson on my first day and I said oh oh that's the movie that we're doing a lot of my job is to work out and you know clank and iron it's like playing a sport or something like that is that someone gets a little bit more physical and then you say oh okay oh it's like that we're playing like that game on many fat ass black man toes yeah. and it's unfortunate that we couldn't get him so this guy will do I'm just a beach at him, so, you know. That's your head. That's <laughs> bad. I know you're you like, oh. As long as I can look really good for my shirt off scene and steal all of Jason's fans. <laughs> I want them to say, I want Black Panther to win. I'm the good guy. No. Yeah, yeah, she's terrific. And I think he's brought a sense of intensity to the role. Have a shirt off scene that's coming later on we did a screen test james said hey um let's just let's just zip that down and let's just get some shots so i zipped it down i came back a couple days later and they said hey man i think the shirt's got to come off man we got to do some rewrites you know so i'm happy about that because there's numerous characters in here we start out in the drill process to see what their strengths and weaknesses are and we build on their strengths, and that's how we choreograph their fights. If you're bigger and stronger, like Jason, you're gonna make him like brute power, strength, more like barroom brawler. But you still have to have a little flair to it. And then Patrick, he's the king. He has a kind of arrogance. I am the one true king. And we also wanted Orm to be a little more flashy, so it's a little more fluid than maybe a little less brute than Arthur has at some points. And then, of course, there's Black Manta, who's a pirate, and you just want to make him more like the street. You know, he's not a superhero. He's just a scrapper. He's a scrappy fighter. So that's how we designed his fights. We fight with our hands and we fight with whatever we can find and pick up. I got my gauntlet that comes out. <laughs> Damn, you don't know your own strength, my friend. He comes in, jetpacks, he's flying. I have laser eyes. I'm so prepared now, so prepared. Patrick got big, but Yaya got ripped. I'm not sure who, who put on more weight, but Yaya definitely, he won. What's up, Patrick? What's up now? Mm. 
Um, and I always joke, like, man, I did like five months of working out and what was on screen, which literally comes down to about one arm, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> man, those guys just ate whatever they wanted to and lift weights like bastards. I like to work on Jason more than I work on Aquaman. So we have those little inside jokes when we get on set, get across from each other. Now whisper. Also, man, you just turned 38. That's almost 40. That's almost pretty cool, man. You know, 38, 40, just round up. Just get there already, you know. Leave, leave the 30s to me. I got my butt kicked a lot of days for that. I mean, these stunt guys are just unbelievable. They really are. The whole team, from top to bottom, you know, really make us look great. We teach them the moves, but they're the ones that go into life. The best thing about playing a villain is that you have the best lines. I think I'm gonna need a bit of a helmet. And you win all the fights except for the last one. And if it wasn't for that darn mirror, I would have had him. It would have been a much shorter movie.